Hello, in this tutorial we're going to look at conditional statements using the c -sharp language. In the previous tutorial we looked at operators in the c -sharp language, so we looked at arithmetic operators, assignment operators, equality operators and logical operators. Um, we got to play around with arithmetic and assignment operators but we didn't really get to use equality operators because um, there was nothing really to use them with um, and we really need to use things like conditional statements to apply equality operators, which we'll do now. Um, and the same with logical operators. So before we start um, using conditional or creating conditional statements, basically equality operators are used to compare two values. So, um, so we can have something like a number of 10, and then we can check to see if another value is either higher or lower than 10. Um, so greater than or less than 10, or if it's equal to 10. Um, and then we can have different actions that correspond there. So um, conditional statements are used so that your program can actually make decisions. So um, when your program has a range of conditions, you can build powerful algorithms. And the most basic conditional statement is the if statement, which we'll use first. So to start with, we'll just create a new uh, variable and we'll make it a public variable. So we're doing this in this class here, I have my script, which is attached to the main camera in this scene here in this game. So um, I've already attached this script here to um, an object, okay? It's called my script. So I'm writing this line of code in the class. It's not in the start or update method, it's out of, outside of those methods, just inside the class. So I'll create a new integer, so public int, I'll just call it my number, capital N there, my number equals 10 in that line with a semicolon. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll set up a basic if statement inside the start method here, just so that one runs once at the start of the game, and I'm going to use this if statement to check if my number is greater than a certain number. So what I'll do is I'll say um, if, I'll use the if keyword, and then with the if statement you have normal brackets and inside those normal brackets you specify a condition. So a condition can be something like if my number is greater than, so we can use a greater than sign, and we could just have a number like five in here and close those brackets. So we can have a statement there or condition if my number is greater than five and then we can specify an action that will occur if the number in the variable my number the value there is actually greater than five so for the action so what's actually going to occur if this statement evaluates to true that needs to be inside curly braces curly brackets okay now make sure that you close the brackets so that um, there's no confusion here and you don't get any errors in the code. So make sure you close the brackets for this if statement. Okay, so inside the if statement, I'm gonna have a simple print message. I'm gonna say print, um, so if my number is greater than five, I'm gonna print the message, my number oops, is greater than five. I'm going to close that off there and close that line with the semicolon. Okay, so I've got a public integer variable here called my number with an initial value of 10, and I've got an if statement here in the start method that says if my number is greater than 5, then print this message here, okay, into the console. So I'll save that and I'll go into Unity. I'll just reset this script here that I've attached. Okay, so that's reset. So now what I'll do is I'll run the game. And you can see already in the console down there, if I go here, I've got this message here saying my number is greater than five. Okay, what I could now do is I could change that condition. And I'll just stop the game first. I can go back to mono develop and I can change that condition. All right, this time I'm gonna say if my number is greater than 15, print my number is greater than 15. 
save it and run it. And this time there's nothing in the console. There's no message at all. And that's because this number here, or well, the value in the variable my number, which is 10, is not greater than 15. So 10 is not greater than 15. So because that condition is not true, it doesn't evaluate to true, it's not going to display the message. Now what if we changed it, we wanted to actually check if my number was equal to 10. Well instead of using the greater than sign, we can use the double equals operator, which means equals to. So just make sure you don't get confused between a single equal sign, which is an assignment operator, that's used to assign a value to a variable, and the double equal sign, which is used to compare if something is equal to something else. So make sure you just note the difference between those two. So here we're going to check if my number is equal to, exactly equal to 10. And if it is, it's going to say my number is equal to 10. Okay, save, run that game. There we go, my number is equal to 10. Now if we go back and change, uh, you know, my number is equal to 11, it shouldn't display anything because my number is 10, which is not equal to 11. So there we go, nothing's showing in the console. All right, so some operators that we can use are greater than, we can use less than, we can use equals or equal to, we can use greater than or equal to, and we can also use less than or equal to. So in this case, we can have the integer my number equals 10, and then we can check if that number is less than or equal to 11. We can change the message here. Save and refresh. We'll play that again. And then we get that message there. My number is less than or equal to 11. And the reason that is, is because it is less than or equal to 11, because it's 10, which is less than 11. So if this number was changed to 11, it would still display the same message, because only one of those needs to be true. It needs to be either less than 11 or equal to 11. Okay, um, so the other last equality operator that we'll look at is the not equals to sign. So if we have my number set to 10, we can have a condition here saying if my number is, and then we can have an exclamation mark and an equals sign, and then we'll change that to 10. Basically that means if my number is not equal to 10, then display this message here. My number is not equal to 10. Okay. Um, now, we'll run that. And we don't get anything because the number actually is equal to 10. So my number is equal to 10. And we're checking if my number is not equal to 10. And if it's not equal to 10, then we'll display the message. But because it is equal to 10, it doesn't display the message. What if we change the initial value to 11, save, and then make sure we reset the script to update that value. And we can also just change the value straight from here in Unity, which is pretty easy to do. Now if we play it, it says my number is not equal to 10 because it's 11. Okay, so those are the basic equality operators using a simple if statement. All right, now we can have some slightly more complicated if statements. We can have if else statements. So for example, we can have if my number is equal to 10, and we'll set the initial value to 10. Then we can say my number is equal to 10. All right, but what if we want to display a message that displays if the number is not equal to 10 as well? Um, well, what we can say is if my number is equal to 10, print my number is equal to 10, else, all right, and we'll just, um, oops, just put that below there. Okay, so we've got if my number is equal to 10, print my number is equal to 10, else, print my number oops, is not equal to 10. 
Okay, so the number is equal to 10, but if it was any number, higher or lower, so if it was 9, if it was 11, if it was 50, if it was minus 3, it would print this message here to the console. So let's check that out. We'll just reset the script. Oops. Reset, run. Okay, so it says my number is equal to 10, because it is actually 10. So now we can change this to 11, just straight from here. Run it again. And now it says my number is not equal to 10. Okay. Um, oops, we can run that again. Change it to 9. Run it again. And it says my number is not equal to 10. Okay. So that's another way of setting up um, conditional statements is using the if else statement. So we have an if condition here. And if that condition does not evaluate to true, then there's another action that will take place. Okay. So it's a basic if else statement. We can also make it a little bit more complicated by setting up an if else if statement. Okay. So the limitation of the if else statement is that it only allows two possible paths. So in this example here, there's two paths. It'll either display my number is equal to 10 or it will display my number is not equal to 10. Okay, but what we can actually do is we can set up another condition on top of that. And we could set up many more conditions if we wanted. So we can have heaps and heaps of different paths. So what we might actually say is if my number is equal to 10, print my number is equal to 10. And then we can have um, else if my number oops, is equal to 15. And just that's a little bit annoying, but I'll just move that down. So we'll say else if my number is equal to 15, print my number is equal to 15. Okay, so that's an else if condition there. Um, and we could add more of those if we want to. We could have a few more else if um, different conditions there and then an else one to finish it off. Um, the else part is also, that's optional in an if else if statement. So you don't actually have to put that in. But what we'll do is we'll save this. We'll run it. Um, we might need to reset it. There we go. Okay. Just because we had entered in a different value there. So now what we'll do, just clear the console. We'll run this. All right. So we've got my number is equal to 10 displayed in the console. And that's because my number is, does have a value of 10. So it's gone through this if statement here. It's checked if my number is equal to 10, then print my number is equal to 10. So it's done that. But what we might do is change the value to 12 this time. So um, we'll just do it straight in Unity. We'll change this value to 12, Hit enter, run it again. And now it says my number is not equal to 10. All right, and the reason it does that is because it's not equal to 10 and it's not equal to 15. So any other number, it's gonna display this message here. All right, if we ch change it to 15 this time, it should go to that else if statement, which it does. So it says my number is equal to 15. All right, so basically, just an overview of that. If the number is equal to 10, it's gonna do this. If the number is equal to 15, it's gonna do this. And if it's anything else, if it's not 10 and it's not 15, it's some other number, then it's gonna do that. Okay, so one last thing we'll look at with um, conditional statements is using different type of operator and that is a logical operator. So um, we've looked at how to check if, um, you know, a value, uh, we looked at how to compare values. So see if, you know, my, the my number variable is equal to a certain number or greater than a number or less than a number. Um, but now we're gonna use the um, logical operators to check two different conditions at once. So we could have, you know, I've got this um, integer, variable here set up in the class we can set up a new if statement here we can have a condition like if my number 
is greater than 10. And then we can use an operator called the end operator, which is two end signs. And then we can have another statement. So if my number is greater than 10 and my number is less than 15, then we can display a message here. We can say something like my number is less than, oops, is greater than 10 and less than 15. Okay, so we can go to Unity and we can um, run this. And remember the initial value is 10, so it's not displaying any message because 10 is not greater than um, 10 or 15. Well, the, my value, the, the value that's stored in the variable, my number, is not greater than 10 and not greater than, or not less than 15. So if we change the value, we can just do it from here in Unity. If we change it to 12, hit enter and then play. It should now display that message because 12 is greater than 10 and also less than 15. Um, if we put in a value like 17, then that message is not displayed because 17 is greater than 15. Um, so it's um, greater than 10, yes, but it's not less than 15. So we'll set that value back to 10. This time, so instead of using the end operator, we can use the or operator. So we could have something like if my number is equal to 10 or, and that's two vertical bars like that, or my number is equal to 15, then you can print this message here, my number is 10 or 15. Okay, so it's gonna check if the number is 10 or if the number is 15. So only one of these conditions needs to be true for it to do something. Okay, um, so we could go back to Unity. We've got the value of 10, we can run it. And so it displays that message. Now we could change it to 12, run it again. It doesn't display that message. You can change it to 15. It does display the message in the console. Change it to 17. And it doesn't. So the value has to be either 10 or 15 because we're using the OR operator. Okay, so that's how to use the and and or operators in if statements.